What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back to bring the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to run off where we left off, our forces were intercepted marching en route to Stuttgart, which isn't a problem, it just gives us an earlier opportunity than planned to destroy the garrison. So without further ado, let's crack on. So Stuttgart is one of those, uh, so William will probably take Stuttgart eventually and then he will uh, turn around and face turn around and face the garrisons at Switzerland at which point they will head east or maybe they might actually um, they may actually um, get deployed onto ships and then sail around to the south and maybe attack the Russians through the Black Sea so if I unlimber are they in range? they sure are So let's. So even though we were intercepted, because they're in range right off the bat, it makes me interested to explore shelling the crap out of them before we advance. Or maybe even as we advance. So one flank, three infantry, then we'll group the Swiss Grenadiers on the right, nice and strong, ready to ready to push up. And then on the left, it's going to still have a good chunk of light infantry, a good chunk of line infantry, but it's also going to have the bulk of our skirmishers. Good, why is that? There we go. Well, that's not even right. Let's group together our light infantry on the left. Our howitzers are going to stay where they are. Undeployed, general in the centre. Where are their reinforcements? Okay, right in the back corner. To be honest, it'd probably be germane too. push them up to be like this. It would take them ages to get there, but they would be in a good position to intercept the new Russian army. These guys are advancing, but they're not advancing at any particular rate to be concerned about. So let's just push up my line in general. Move the houses up in the center. So these guys have been limbered up so they can be redeployed. Probably more like there. Let's push these guys up like normal. Because the bulk of their forces are going to take some time to actually get onto the field. Like right now, they are just walking. Actually, it might be safer if I do something like this. Then let's speed up time a little bit. Bring up our general staff. Let's target. Let's target the cavalry with our artillery for now. Hell, why not barrage it? And they may be about to charge. They would be good to hit, especially because they're they're perpendicular to my to my artillery, which means we'll get many more kills with bouncing shots. Or we should notionally target them safer for now. Let's run our first units of infantry into position. Let's 
so they're going to be forming square upwards into my troops. Okay, get out of square. Form line to pour fire onto that Russian unit. push. Where are you going to go? I think you're going to hit them. So let's push one unit up like this, one unit up through the chasm and then the other three units can be here ready to march towards the bulk of their remaining forces. form square and you form square to support each other. It's worth keeping an eye on this cavalry, but let's push whole load of squares and turn fireball off. Yep, so that's already worked. They're probably going to abandon their pursuit. Nope, they're going to continue. Let's keep stoically marching onwards. Let's do something more like this with these two units. Let's keep them around the back. Can fire well, off with that, on for them, so they can fire into them. Let's push the howitzer up. Let's limber up the guns, and I'd like to try and put them on the slope of this hill. So if we put I mean that's one that might be a bit too close. So one can get positioned there well enough. No, don't fire on yet. So you're in a good place. You guys... I would like them to go up here, but I think that might be... A, like up on here somewhere, so I'll move them up here. Especially as my regular forces are going to be engaged. Prior. Let's just creep you forward to run you. Okay. Take this hill. Good. They're in a position to provide Overwatch. Oh. Late. 
scale skirmishes to get some to get some speed up. Yeah, we're not going to secure this position, so. So these guys are under are they are under strength. So these guys are in a, these guys are really strung out. So they're just going to be providing what fire they can onto the enemy while the rest of our forces move up. Especially you guys. Especially they're giving us some space, and then let's get them to run. How is this going to plunk down in this little shadow here? A general that's left out of the way. These guys need to run, so I want to advance them up towards these guns to try and engage them. Nope, they are running up the hill to try and engage us. See, because that would be a perfect firing position to engage the head of their column. But we're not going to get there. Not in time. Advance up. And they're going to be in range of cast shot. running. Peel back. Hold musket fire with you guys. Pull. I don't want to engage in melee, melee fighting. Not yet. Oh, they are letting us get away with it though. Okay, form square with the corner company. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Fire will off with you as well. Oh God, run! actually can engage. Oh, they're firing into the flanks of my troops. We need to make you rout, because these guys are mighty isolated. So much so. These guys can ignore the fight and just push on. Fire will turn on for all you guys. Fire back. That'll make you feel better. Oh, fair enough. They did get shot at for a few turns and no hope of hope of engagement. And they've been engaged by guns. Okay, it's gonna Back into firing position, where the lances are still a threat. You guys storm that hill and deal with the gut, but deal with that set of guns. I 
would like to come off the crest of the hill so I could just put my lights into the line. Let's run my light infantry around the flank. Okay, let's pivot these guys so they can try and engage the, the artillery. With my lights engaged, the fifth light foot, they're going to engage this broken. Oh no, they're going to engage this unit still on the hill. Charge on. You guys fall back, get ready to engage the ones at the crest of the hill. Running sure they are. Let's charge them up. There we go, the gunners are being shot down. So he's barely got any range, so I may as well just pack it up. They can push up and engage. Six pounders have abandoned their artillery completely. I mean, this guy should be. This unit should be mincemeat. Oh, thank you. Enforcements. Cossacks are in the crossfire. Grenadiers. After my grenadiers, looks like it. They're not charging, they're just running. Nope, they've had enough. Good lads. Run them up to support the infantry on the flank. Let's charge them up to get some new angles. And then let's get my reinforcements. <sighs> they need to select you as well. Charge them up. Let's go up to the trees. Who's this? It's the 71st. We've been engaging the 25th alone. light infantry to engage the stragglers. There we go, the 71st are engaging from the woods. The 5th Grenadier Regiment is pivoting to help. My guns have just made it to the hill up here to provide some fire. That's my friendly fire out, so there we go, just stop. Mm. 
the 65 regiment yet yeah, being picked apart by skirmishers they are wavering but they're an elite regiment well what's left of them dropping troops British troops in Napoleon do look rather good let's bring this unit up to supply more firepower and let's bring up some troops to do the final death knell of this Russian of these Russian troops. Especially as they are forming again. We've only lost 300 men and everyone else has been absolutely hammered by them. Especially for such a fresh unit. So you're in good spirits. Come on, Black Brunswickers. Poor souls, while they sit there reloading. Charge your weapons. Fire! Oh no, they're aiming at this unit that's still around. 58. 58 is gone. Twenty fifth have broken. Should I get them behind the wall? Although I suspect it will not make too much difference. No, they've routed. They've routed in the same direction as they entered. To end the battle there. That was not a close victory. No way, Jose. That was a definite win. I mean, we did lose more men than I thought we did. I suppose they've all been picked apart. So they've routed... Was that a great sight of a great battle? Let's put them to siege. Yeah, that was the Battle of Stuttgart. Well done, William de Dornberg. Keep an eye there inside. Maintain siege. I want to see if the Belgians come after it. If the Belgians join me in this battle, I will give them that territory. Yeah. Then it will be on to pushing, well, pushing east. Because Munich will survive quite well if they try and attack me. Diplomacy. The Kingdom of Hungary. I want to give you. I can't give you Galicia. I want to give you Transylvania. I suppose I can't give it to you because I've liberated it rather than captured it. Just to replenishing you. Ah, uh, not replenish. Well, you're nearly done. John Oswald. Maintain siege. Let's bring in George Thomas Brerisford for reinforcements. Then I can also bring James Inglis. Actually, you're, you're his reinforcements, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay. Just want to make sure nowhere else has got stuff that can be done. You've got one more turn till you're pretty much re reinforced. This spy's on the march. This Russian army is also on the march. But so is Frederick Adam. Then again, Henry Paget is here. I think he might wait here to see what this army does. My All my spies are on the march. Including yes. you. Come on, let's build. Let's build 
walls in two minutes. And let's build some, make sure we're building all our roads. Here comes Arthur Wellesley. I mean, I want Wellesley to take Moscow. That's like not even a choice. Although, I have to be aware that winter is coming. So George Murray send a unit of light dragoons oh, got intercepted so retreat in which case then can't send my dragoons but let's send a unit of foot back to George Murray and send them over the river Rodriguez. well I don't know why it's giving it such such poor odds for me let's continue that siege I'm concerned about having adequate places for my troops to hold up over winter. And is my money? Yeah, it's still going up by 64,000 a turn. And Alexander Abercrombie is going to stand off one turn. My spy is going to try and infiltrate. My cavalry is going to scout ahead. But then I Mr. Abercrombie will take Greece. But firstly, because this army has no artillery. It's interesting seeing von Bl Oh, oh, it's because it's Klauswitz. Klauswitz himself and Gebhard von Blücher. So who do I send? This army is more elite, but it's slightly depleted. Oh, let's use John Oswald. Let us take Bucharest and wound one of Prussia's last generals. Must demand their surrender. Oh, damn it! I didn't realize. Oh, right, okay. I did not anticipate that. I thought that was. A <laughs> I thought maybe they might all die. Well, at least they can replenish. That means I can march them up. So on John Oswald. I mean, I'm not going to let them get away with it. But let's attack. Oh, no way. I'm, sh I'm sure it's Blucher's supposed to be there. I'm sure of it. Hmm. So a quick bit of drink. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, so I'm going to advance my artillery up here, position it on this hill, and then send my infantry up ahead to secure the ground. A bunch up of my Jaegers and Black Brunswickers on the right, because I have limited cavalry, but buckets of artillery. So I need to deploy like so. I mean, I want them to walk. They did say they were all running. I don't want them to run. They've got time. No, actually, that's really far away for the artillery to advance. Ooh, send these three up on the right to try to secure this building. So they've got... So here, yeah, Blucher is here, as here's Klauswitz. So these guys on the right... I want you to push up to this ridge line here. These four. I want you to take this line here. And my howitzers can probably go here before they'll be in range. 
my dragoons can sit here and plug the gap. Let's notch time upwards a little bit. Yeah, that's quite a stout battle line. So there's the fifth lancers. run my general just to get him past my guns then let's unlimber my artillery and allow the opening moves let's have a look over here because I can see cavalry so let's get this Swiss Jaeger inside the house run my light infantry and my foot infantry into position let's probably take two of you guys up here Don't you, Sophia. you guys just get inside the building enough to no, I don't know if they want to attack me or not and let's keep my dragoons here and I'll probably send them against these lancers like they want to push for this hill you guys halt and just shoot at them fortunately my unfortunately my my light infantry are looking a little isolated You guys need to run. Oh, Luke is routing after trying to charge my general. He got hit by a howitzer shell. Artillery shells are coming in. Sorry, you guys, you're all going to be knackered. Swiss Jaeger at the back. By the time they become a problem, pivot this flank so they don't shoot into the side of my infantry. Come on, lads. Fire into those fusiliers. Swiss Jaeger should be decimating them at close range. There's Blucher himself. No, you, yeah, it's you. Pull these guys back to keep the line coherent. Some, something good on this flank. Focus on them. Fuselies are outranging my line infantry. Target fire onto them. Push two units up here to engage the Swiss uh, people. Can't remember what the term was. Good. 
This regiment of foot's come back. So let's get them up on this hill. Engaging the musketeers with my infantry. So the general staff is there. Bluka has... I think he's routed. Our men are running for Sorry, they can keep f focusing on them. Okay, this artillery park barrage, these guys. How it says try limber up. Glorious victories are it's soon to be yours. I mean, you say that. Yeah, these fuselets are probably gonna lose to my sharpshooters. Yeah, we've got a bit of a flank going. Come on, lads, try to get that swine Clauschwitz. I knew you guys would come back. Okay, they're engaging them. Skirmishers can engage. Our men are running for it's a unit of artillery unit of foot artillery that was probably killed by my by some friendly fire. Okay, you guys need to pivot. And engage into the back of these guys in combat. Might be able to kill old Klauschwitz. I shoot him off his horse. I don't think so. Throwing their backs to that combat. My dragoons can't do too much. Well, I say that. Let's pivot you guys around. Advance you guys up. Skirmish that Swiss line. So we didn't get Klaus Rich, we didn't get Blucher. Um, but that's okay. You men have no courage. <laughs> Rapid fire canister shot. <laughs> Making it rain in the worst possible way. I mean, you guys will charge in. I don't want to charge my general in because I have apocalyptically bad luck with generals. Get my three remaining dragoons out of the out of the mess. This bayonet charge in the rear should do terrible things to their morale. There you go. They're going to see them off. Good. They've broken here. Charge them all. Oh god! About turn! Musketeers! Everyone converge on them like white blood cells! Ah, you know what's happening!
These guys have n are not <laughs> maneuvering to fire on them. All of you. Bear in a charge. Let's watch them converge. Oh no, they've routed. Of course there's some Swiss Jaeger that have come back right in the distance. So let's barrage them with my foot artillery. Well, they're not even firing. I don't get why I'm not. Oh, it's because they're just out of range. And oh, they weren't pivoted this way. I couldn't see a range thing and I just assumed, oh, let's end the battle there. I assumed that there must have been, they were well within range, but we didn't get to kill any of the generals, but we will. Yeah, we lost a good chunk of men in that one. Push them back across, oh, not even across the good bit of the river. Let's recruit a unit of British Dutch Light Dragoons because they're close. And let's chase them down. Oh, we're out of range. Yeah, and they like us. Let's upgrade the drill school. Let's add some roads. Bring Burrisford up because he's in good position to take Isasi in Moldova. So let's hit and turn. My spies continue to move up. <laughs> Good boys. God, I do have loads of them, don't I? Of course, of course, my army has no movement points, so they just ran around me makes perfect sense and looks like they've retreated into the hills so they might try and ambush someone ambush an army but they probably wouldn't ambush an army too big should you be careful because it's late November so my armies that are not currently housed will need to be I wonder if, wonder if forts count Opportunity to intercept. Don't mind if I do. Come at me and clear out Riga. Garrison, make it easier for my army to capture and then give their give one somewhere safe. Give them somewhere to save to winter. Ready for the new push into Russia in the spring. Grigory Ivanovich Lysanovich. Beautiful territory for gunning down Russians. So let's take you, five units of troops. Oh, this is a turret. Uh, okay, pivot you back this way to get a bit more open ground. Because it would be nice if we could get them to come off of that hill. I don't really have a corresponding hill to drop these guns. Although back here might be okay. Let's put the remainder of my infantry and the cold stream fusiliers. Okay, well not all the remainder of them, that's far too many. Three units. You guys are my reserves. My riflemen. This is the 95th rifles and the regular rifles. They will go out on the right in these trees. And you're my reserves. Let's group my cover on the right. 
it's the light horse and my special infantry and I got my general in between the guns so they're coming in on the right flank not worried it's going to be to deploy stakes it doesn't mean they are exposed but it also gives them a bit of cover so let's get my cavalry out there yep, our artillery is engaging Oh, I cannot engage because they're out of range. Okay, here's one reinforcing army, then another is right at the back of the map. Okay, let's speed up time a little bit. I want them to march towards me, crest over this little ridge, then come down into my killing field. So we destroyed a gun. And these mounted rifles are a the bacon bits of this attack. Oh, the hell Glorious victory, is soon to be yours. It won't be long before. Yep, yeah, my howitzer should now be engaging on the troops in the trees. So who's this? The eighth grenadiers, the tenth light horse, the ninety-third regiment of foot. As the infantry are marching in nice and neat ranks, it would be a shame if... Okay, let's move out my light infantry, knowing that there are spikes here to fall back into. Let's advance my skirmishes up to have a bit of a play. Okay, let's start picking at some of these cavalrymen. Especially they continue to advance. Oh, there's their gun guns in position. They are in position. If they turn for my cavalry, they may actually kill some of their own. not. So I want to charge in and knock those guns out. Lots of infantry nearby but this is intent to be a smash and grab. Good, now run. Our men are running, sir. Oh dang, it's the ninth it's the, the 15th of SARS. And they're close to the edge of the map, so they may actually run properly. Damn. No, they didn't. Good. Come on. So the cannons, the cavalry have charged in. So let's get my rifles into a position to start to skirmish. The infantry cresting over the hill. There we go. Falling in the face of my shrapnel shots. Yeah. 
Moscow Musketeers garrison being picked apart by deadly accurate rifle fire. Let's keep my cavalry out of the way. Oh, blasting the canister shot right into him, okay. Watch out, General. You're in position to get some... Oh, he's provided... He's a... He has... Inspired them. Okay, commit my cavalry... To hit... This garrison unit. Let's pull... Both of my light infantry units back. Especially if they're not in a position to do anything about it, either. Are they reinforcements or routing? They're reinforcements. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Oh, this is that cavalry. It is. Union of Hussars. Get my rifles the other side of those spikes. So the guns have been charged. Bayonet charge the musketeers. Ah, they'll be fine. This is why you have reserves. Which I never normally have. Run my cavalry away. Let's make sure my cavalry actually flee. Ah, oh, forgot about the Comet Rangers. Flee, Dragoon Guards! Flee! Don't run into them again, you idiots. The lay horse are charging in. But they'll hit my spikes. Look at this poor chap of the General Staff. Follow me, Hussars. Flank, you guys form a line here to engage the reinforcing armies. Everyone else, get the hell out of the way. So these guys are in the trees. Getting a bit of cover in the 95th, and not having any of it, being expert marksmen. Trees ain't gonna stop my bullets. There we go. Good stuff. And you guys get the 38th ready to fire. Pick out those targets on the crest of the hill. They're coming in again for bayonet charge. 
They are, they've chosen the wrong time to do it, because that's a complete crossfire they're in. Oh no, an enemy's come back from our guns. From they came back behind our gunners. Yep, yeah, that's a, that's an acceptable amount of ranks. They're only mounted rifles, so they're not proper cavalry, and they've just charged a battle line and they're wavering. So let's take you, engage. Go off the general's staff. Their mounted rifles are broken. Let's pivot my line here, and let's commit my cavalry. go chase down their fleeing troops. Can you both target them? No, it's just you. So let's pivot. The army will advance. Ooh. You go after those grenadiers instead, you go after those Moscow grenadiers. Moscow musketeers. Come on the 15th, you were going to run away not that long ago. Coldstream Cold saw the guys in the rear off. And this line breaks, so let's let them fire until they leave our effect. Three target our artillery. Because I'm send you on an errand to go engage that six pounder. You go capture this 12 pounder. They may come back, so we need to keep an eye on them. Yeah, they're more bothered about about killing my Dragoon Guards than actually trying to win the battle. So let's spin around and engage them. Yep, this 12 pounder's thinking they're safe, but there's no nope, there's a whole bunch of angry red coats. Let's target well, let's turn off the artillery in general. So you're gonna hit them straight on. And the 15th you're gonna hit them in the flank. simultaneously. Come on lads. Okay, let's ch charge my Dragoons on. My heavy cavalry can continue doing what they're doing. General out. Continue for sure. Send them after just armed citizenry, but better than nothing. Oh, you go after Moscow Garrison. They ran over a bunch of armed citizenry to get there, though. Oh, they fled back to the armed citizenry. Maybe onto those musketeers instead. The these... men of fatigue, sir, I must rest a while. I don't give a damn. These men will do as I say, damn it. The Dragoons got them. They can just march back, to be honest. They're not going to get involved. They're so close to freedom. They just can't take it. 
instead they'll take the swords of my general staff oh no they did escape damn it they're going to escape and they're going to escape cool it's just the one it's just the one oh, one f six pounder it's not a pyrrhic victory it was a great victory There you go. Nice 4.7 ish to one. Let's knock them back, knock them back. I mean, I'm just going to auto that because we pretty much just fought it. Peacefully occupy. Ooh, we're going to defend that. But looking at the timer, I believe that would put me way over my limit. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for this heroic defense outside Minsk. Cheers, guys.